it will be comparative. Successful religions often take advantage of technological innovations. We saw in a previous lecture how Buddhists in Japan and in China were the first people to adopt woodblock wood printing on a large scale in order to mass produce and disseminate their sacred texts. Early Christians were behind, were behind a similar communications revolution in the West. They were the first people to adopt the codex format for their written materials. So these are pages that are written on both sides and then bound in a book-like form with a spine, codex. Before Christians came along, notebooks in that form were sometimes used for unimportant or temporary jottings, but serious literature was always written in scrolls. These were pieces of papyrus or animal skins that were glued or sewn together in lengths of 20 to, to, to 26 feet and then rolled up. Christians, however, adopted the codex format for their writings, perhaps because it was less expensive or because at first they didn't consider their texts to be on the same level as the Jewish scriptures that they read in scrolls. But whatever the reason, they soon discovered that codices are much more convenient to work with. You can put more material into a codex, which is why we still use that form today, than, than in a scroll. The idea that the Old and New Testaments might be a single book is really a function of writing in codices. A similar Christian adoption of new technology happened with the invention of the movable type printing press in the 15th century, which allowed ordinary believers to own their own codex of a complete scriptures at, at an affordable price. And of course, that is crucial to, to the development of Protestantism. And now my question. With the advent of the technological revolution known as the internet, is there some religion that might be able to harness its power for their own spirit?